All right, now let's go over easy as we take a look at the props for tonight's game. Who's going over easy? Not Al Horford. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> that prop, I saw the prop this morning. I laughed, and then I made a bet. He's not even up here. No, of course not. <laughs> not in the conversation. Jason Tatum has been great in knockout games. Now, what's a knockout game? It's when your season is on the line. Right. He's averaging 32 points per game in his career in knockout games. Now, that's not that much bigger than 29 and a half, but you have to think that zero is going to be chucking. Sure. Right? Channel the Kobe Bryant, go out there, put shots up. That's what he's going to do. So you would think, like, let's put a number on this. Mm -hmm. How many shots does Jason oh, Tatum take gosh. tonight? Infinity. <laughs> Give me the over. <laughs> I take under infinity. But 27, sure. 28 shots, sure. a lot of them from three. Yep. So if he's connecting the way he usually connects, he probably goes over 29 and a half. But that's not my favorite prop bet. We'll get to that later. Okay. Look, I <laughs> Again, I mentioned losing money betting on the Celtics. I've also lost it in this market, betting on Tatum, betting on Jalen Brown. Not going to do it tonight. You know where I'm going? Jimmy Butler. Because win or lose, we know he's going to be trying to put away the Celtics here tonight. So I'm going combo platter. You see points here, rebounds and assists. I put them all together. Over 41 and a half combined points, rebounds and assists. Because again, whether the Heat get it done, now or later, we know at some point they're going to win this series. Jimmy Butler will be going for the jugular like he always does.